Hey guys, it's Jane. It's Friday today. So I'm here for a Friday read. This one really is legitimately going to be short because I don't have any time and I've hardly read anything this week. I spent most of the week watching Jessica Jones on Netflix. <laughs> I'm up to the, the penultimate episode. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen tonight because I'm, gonna, I'm super busy. Um, but I did finish one book. I did finish one book. Oh, I'm loving Jessica Jones, by the way, before I move on. I'm loving Jessica Jones. The fact that David Tennant, who was the 10th Doctor, is the bad guy and is totally doing my head in. But I just, I just, yeah, it's, it's so evil. It's fantastic. Anyway, I finished one book this week, which is Soman Chinani's, I think I almost said that right, Soman Chinani, yeah, Soman Chinani's, um, the Last Ever After, which is the third of the School of Good and Evil books. Um, I read the first couple of these uh, earlier in the year or last year. Yeah, I think last summer I read these. Um, I enjoyed the first one. The second one lost me a little bit. The third one is, yeah, it's a hot mess. <laughs> I have no idea what he was reaching for. There's so many moving parts. I couldn't really keep up with it but I just wanted to finish it and find out what happened in the end. The one good thing I will say about this book that I genuinely enjoyed is that he makes a point of elevating friendship and saying that um, a strong non-romantic friendship is just as significant as a romantic um, connection and I think that is actually something that is very very often ignored in literature and in in our world in general but I think it's it's true and I'd actually like to read more books and see more stories generally which um, celebrate friendship um, got dashing back to Jessica Jones which I enjoyed a lot more than the last ever after um, uh, that's one of the things in this uh, story that I've enjoyed so much, the friendship between uh, Jessica and Trish and how central that is to the progress of the story. Anyway, that's what I finished this week. Um, I really can't say anything more. I mean, I'm just, it's not terrible. It's just overcomplicated. And he's doing this thing about good and evil having to be in balance. And I just think that's nonsense and just, something to make his story work out and yeah anyway m moving on from that um i have been reading a darker shade of magic by v e schwab i haven't finished that one yet although i'm, I'm close to the end um i remember this was hot on booktube six to eight months ago or something i'm always late um and i seem to remember that initially people were really excited and then it kind of got to the sort of faint praise sort of stage i'm really enjoying this book i found it at the library which is why i picked it up um but i'm really enjoying this book so um it's my munchkin's fifth birthday today so i have to go and make jelly cups and bake birthday cake and make honey joys and sausage rolls and um, wrap the past the parcel for the party tomorrow. So I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.